Today's two minutes of science is all about turning. We're going to take advantage of that rubber band powered car only with the balloon to see what works best. Front wheel turning or rear wheel turning. Let's take a look at the situation here. The rear wheels, the, the turning radius itself is dependent upon the angle that you can put the wheels and is pretty consistent. But we're going to see what's actually better at turning the vehicle. If we look at the rear wheels, they seem to turn easily enough, but when we look at the detail, we see that the vehicle doesn't follow course. And because of the thrust of the balloon, it lifts the rear wheels enough, but they're not enough to track, and it slides off the table. Now let's take a look at the front wheel drive. Again, we can blow up the balloon and allow it to provide thrust. And since the thrust vector is fairly high, that is, it's higher than the chassis and it pushes downward on the front, with the front wheel driving wheels, now they have extra purchase on the surface. And this metal table is fairly slick as it is, but the extra thrust component that pushes the front down allows those front wheels to guide the car even though they slip a little bit and it makes the turn without sliding off the table. So there you have it. Uh, not definitive because it depends upon the thrust vector but in this particular case front wheel driving is definitely the way to go.